Let's bring a former Trump campaign Michigan coacher, Lena Epstein. Lena, the news is breaking that, you know, we all found out through the president's Twitter feed, which is what we've been talking about, Lena. Um, what do you think of this bombshell that General John Kelly is now chief of staff and Reince Priebus is out? I think it's very important for us to support the president and the decisions that he makes with those people surrounding him and his senior staff. I think it really emphasizes promises made and promises kept, that he will be very strict when it comes to immigration issues. And we ha people serve at the pleasure of the president. We have to support him in those decisions. So, you know, Reince Priebus was thought to be with the Republican establishment, close with Paul Ryan, at odds with <laughs> Steve Bannon uh, at, at, at points. Um, do you think this will calm the waters at the White House? It seemed to be in chaos and in disarray. I wouldn't, or I would, don't perceive it to be in chaos and disarray at all. In fact, I think that that's the public perception, or that might be certain media perceptions. But in fact, this is an administration based on a leader who is trying to build out organization after not having decades of political political structure in place. With that said, Reince is a tremendous man, a tremendous leader. He's had an incredible career, an, an incredible career mm -hmm. ahead of him, and a wonderful family, the, the Priebus family. With that said, I'm really pleased that the president is moving forward. Okay. He's going to be taking a strict stance on immigration, as he has right from the beginning. We're seeing, we're seeing uh, crimes and, and, and illegal issues at the border, the U.S.-Mexico border, going down by 60 percent. Just by saying, the president saying, I'm going to take a tough stance on immigration. This is very good news for the American people. This is the biggest shakeup to date, Mark. Mm -hmm. And what we have now is a general mm -hmm. basically spearheading the agenda for the Trump White House. That's what Reince was in charge of. Right. And again, and it arises from who Trump is, though. He didn't, you know, if you take any George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, they come into office with a bunch of people who've been with them since they first ran for governor 20 years earlier. Right. And Trump had no equivalent group like that. I'd actually like to see Corey Lewandowski back uh, in the in the Trump inner circle. But he was and accused of roughhousing about yeah, you know, I know all that. But that. Then that's fair enough. But the fact the fact is that he and Trump see eye to eye, and there has to be. Uh, you can't move Trump in and then put him with a bunch of people who are just have generic political careers. He has very specific needs, and and I think the the interesting thing about John Kelly is that Trump moved him into this position because he saw what he did at Homeland Security. And what he did at Homeland Security was he, from day one, he started enforcing Trump's issues. And so Trump doesn't have to worry about a lot of stuff as to whether this guy's on board with the message. He's proved that the last six months. You know, we have uh, Senator Lindsey Graham uh, basically thanking Reince Priebus and applauding the appointment of uh, John Kelly. We have now politicians weighing in, Charlie. Where do, where do you think the, you know, the weekend talk shows take this? A general... Oh, Charlie, no, Charlie. Lena, the weekend talk shows are going to be going full bore, it seems, on this appointment of a general in the White House. How do you think that's going to shake out? Well, I hope that people stick with the facts. That's been my greatest concern going forward as a surrogate for the president and the administration, is that the media can take information and spin it and skew it and interpret it. And unfortunately, perception becomes reality for people. I say we focus on the facts. The people serve in the senior administration staff at the pleasure of the president. Reince has a terrific career ahead of him, has a wonderful track record, and I wish Kelly the best of luck in his new role. I'm you, very excited about this. You know, Mark, it's rare that we've got to Lena, Lena, you've been with the Trump campaign. You helped it out of, I think, the, the great state of Michigan. Uh, it seems, you know, you've seen the president come in as an outsider. Let's get back to this idea that... You know, Reince Priebus is Paul Ryan, in, in Paul Ryan's district. He uh, came up with, he's close with Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan, an establishment figure. Now it looks like a, the biggest shakeup to date in the White House with the general coming in. What are your thoughts there? I think it's great news. And I think that at the end of the day, all of these people serve at the pleasure of the president. And the president needs to surround himself with those people that are going to support America First policies and help him get his agenda through. I have tremendous amount of respect for Reince and his work, and I think he has an incredibly bright future. I think Kelly is the perfect match for what the president needs to do in the coming weeks and months, particularly when it comes to unapologetic stances on immigration policy. And I think this is great news for the American people. And I know that the people in Michigan that support President Trump continue to support him. And it's actions like this that will continue to bring that support to bear. Good point, Lena.